All right, we're live again here in Planet Coaster, the one and only. And we're back in Gold Rock Park. Um, as always, guys, uh, this live stream is sponsored by Dubby Energy, so make sure you head on over to the website. Link's in the description. Use my code GLWGAMES to get a nice discount on your purchase. So, anyways, we're here back in Gold Rock Park, and I got some fun stuff to show off because I have finally successfully created my first Bee Maker Sulkit item, um, which uh, I did just post in the Discord not long ago, um, if, like literally not long ago, like a few minutes. Live on YouTube. Let's make sure everyone knows we're live. Why doesn't it? I'm trying to copy the video link, but it's not working. <laughs> Paste? Why is it the video link pasting? Hello? Here, I'll try and do it manually. Copy. Paste. It worked that time. All right. <clears throat> Anyways, welcome everybody to the stream. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. And uh, I've been having a wonderful day because we just, um, I just created my first toolkit item successfully. Um, I did work on it last night, or I did uh, start working on it last night. However, I had a couple glitches, bugs that I had to figure out, and I success successfully figured it out. Um, last night. So, let's take a look at what I have created. So, uh, I created, uh, you guys have seen my logo up front there. As you can see right here, I do have a couple signs. This was my first one that I created last night. As you can see, it turned out pretty good. Um, if we zoom out, uh, this is the bug that I, I worked so hard on getting this right, but I messed up. As you can see, when you zoom out, it rotates backwards. <laughs> Uh, and then it goes back to normal. So there's one spot there where it rotates. That's because I forgot to rotate it. Um, you have to create different, uh, kind of like different um, versions of your model. Like with, uh, it's the you have to delete, you have to do different layers with different, um, um, it's kind of like draw distance kind of. Like when you go further enough away, it take uh, the details go away so you have to do less detailed versions oh i forgot to rotate one of those and the result of that it's uh it rotates on its side so i went in today and created a new one that is actually a little bit bigger as well this is our new one right here and i did decide to make it a little bit bigger because i wanted the sign to be a bit bigger and i fixed that issue as you can see we can zoom all the way out and it works just fine. Uh, the only noticeable thing is you can see it kind of pieces of it disappear when you're really far away, but I don't think that's a big deal to worry about. But yeah, but this is my first successful Theme Maker's Toolkit item that I've created. I've made it in Blender. Uh, on this one, I got rid of the background on the back, but this one I decided to keep it um, because why not? Um, I decided to do it um, but anyways. Uh, yeah, so it turned out pretty good. Um, I should have no problem making like signs like this that have like shapes around them. Um, you know, this isn't too much, but it's a big stride for me because I've just had issues. I've always had issues just getting things into Theme Maker Toolkit, so this is a big win for me. And of course, I have to start small and do something easy like a sign or something. And you can see this isn't just like a square sign, it's actually cut out. Um, which you can't really do in Planet Coaster. You gotta have, you can use billboards and stuff, but you can't do like cutout signs like this, like we did. So, <clears throat> I could potentially actually make the Golden Ticket Award sign for Outlaw Run. That would actually not be too hard to do, actually, now that I think about it. Because um, it would be the same concept as this, I just gotta get the right image on there. I would just have to go into um, a... Uh, Photoshop file and um, cut it out as a PNG or something like that and uh, just outline it 
uh, and the shapes and then get the image on there. Uh, so it actually wouldn't be too hard to do. So I might actually do that next um, so I can create the, so I can get rid of my really crappy looking horse. <laughs> So, but anyways, thank you guys so much for joining. I'm not trying to ignore chat. I'm just super excited about being able to finally do ThingMaker's Toolkit and figuring out how Blender works and stuff like that. If I get good enough at it, I might make a tutorial myself on it, but we'll see. Um, I want to get confident enough in my skills of it. Uh, I Actually, this what I did today, I did it without any tutorials as well, so I'm very proud of myself. I didn't have to open up the video that... I got the tutorial from so I was very excited that I was able to build do all this without a tutorial for the first time as well so that was really exciting for me and I had no issues no errors no nothing but <laughs> yeah I might do the golden ticket sign there's a couple other signs I kind of want to do as well um, I was thinking about doing the do not enter sign traffic sign because that's not on the workshop and I feel like that could be pretty popular um, and it would actually benefit my park a little bit as well. So, um, yeah, I'm going to mainly probably specialize more in doing signage for Theme Maker Toolkit more than anything. Um, as for, like, other 3D models, I'm not... I could eventually work my way into, but for right now, I'm going to stick to signs because they're actually pretty easy um, once you get it down, so... <clears throat> The hardest part is um, creating the lower re resolution, kind of like the lower, um, the lower triangular models. So like, you have to create a total of six different models, uh, and you have to eliminate like different um, edges and stuff to get the quality down as you go further out. As you can kind of see, there is a little bit of glitch there. As I zoom out, you can see that the edge kind of plops out a little bit right there. So I'm not perfect at it yet, but <laughs> there's a, a little bit of glitching here and there, but it doesn't look too bad. I mean, you gotta be pretty far away, so it kind of goes back away when you're that far away, so. But I'm gonna take it regardless, and we're actually, what we're gonna do to start this episode, we're gonna replace these signs that I made within Planet Coaster with these, with this new sign, uh, with the actual logo of the park, because I didn't really have a, a real logo beforehand, but now I do, so this will be our photo op spot <clears throat> for this, so <coughs> I am gonna, <coughs> excuse me, keep, I'm gonna keep this sign here, though, <coughs> Because I'm or I'm going to use it to make it look like it's supporting the gold rock sign. Or the, the toolkit sign here. So I just wanted to center it up a little bit. I did accidentally move some flowers, so we'll move those back. Where we had them. There we go. And just like that, we have a nice sign. <clears throat> How much to make a sign for your park? I don't know. <laughs> kind of want to make it floating a, maybe a little bit. Something like that, but look at that. We have our own custom sign. Now, I could put it up here as well. I don't know how good that would look up here. I kind of want to redo this entrance. It's very blah right now. So, yeah, I also have the smaller one, but I don't really want to use this one because of... How messed up it is. Uh, I could create a smaller one as well. Uh, all I got to do is shrink down the one that I have. Uh, I did save the file or the blender file, so I should be able to do that pretty easily, I think. Actually, I don't know how easy it would be. Um, it could be easy. I, I'm, it could be easy. You should be able to scale it down easily. <clears throat>
Uh, so I do have a file. This is going to be here for now. I think I might make another one for the entrance sign. Because this one is a little bit off. Putting a little bit. Um, I do have one that has... Or I do have a save that just has the letters. And no background. Um, let me see what that looks like real quick. I have it um, in my files. I did save a version that only ha that has no background whatsoever. Yeah, if I can find it, where did I put it? Photos, logos, gold rock. It doesn't have the rocks, though. I could add the rocks, potentially, at least have the rocks on it, but it's literally just that. And I could potentially make that sign. Um, that one would be a little bit more difficult because um, I think I could make it work, but it's going to be a little more difficult to create because there's a lot more... Um, and the shaping, the shapes that I have to work around there. It would be a little bit difficult, but I think I could make it work. <clears throat> but for now, we're going to leave that right there. So we have the actual park logo there. For that. But I wanted to show that off because I'm very, very proud that I finally was able to do some uh, work on that. So <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually. Um, if if I feel up to it, maybe I can attempt to try and make it on stream. I don't know. It's up to you guys if you think that content's worth watching because... I mean, it's kind of a long, tedious task. I mean, this didn't take me too long to make. There's just some steps that you got to follow. So now making easy square signs, now that's easy, but you might as well just use billboards for that. So there's almost no point in doing that unless you want a specific size, you know, that uh, is in game. So, but yeah, I do agree that. I should probably maybe, I think it would look good just to have the, uh, get rid of the background piece for the entrance sign here over the entrance gates. That would be nice. You're here to make it less boring for you. It wouldn't, not boring for me, but I mean boring for you guys. <laughs> is what, uh, is the main thing. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go back to our road here because I need to get this all finished up. Um, basically, I think we got mainly everything done here. We just got to do some line work and um, some signage, uh, basically. So like our dotted lines, like right here, our side lines, all our lines. That I think we can do no problem. Everything will be pretty easy. All right, we're going to cover up this green strip of grass. I'm attempting to, anyways. By slightly rotating it without anybody noticing. All right, and we're going to fix this real quick by going to our city tarmac and just filling that in like that. There we go. Look, you wouldn't even notice. <laughs> wouldn't have even noticed, would you? OK, 
Okay. Very, very good. Very, very nice. Getting the, the crappy tough ones out of the way first here. Ones that no one wants to deal with, you know. That's what we're going to start off with. Just like that. <clears throat> Crap, I hate it when I accidentally do that. straight part of the road so this should be pretty straightforward see what I did there One out of ten? Who said it was a joke? I was just saying it should be pretty straightforward. All right, there we go. There's some lineage. Some sick lineage here. All right, this one should be easy too. <laughs> Masa does that. Still lined up at the end? Yes, okay. That's all that matters. Still lined up over here? Yes, it is. I hate that it's just very, very slightly diagonal. Like, come on, Planko. What you doing with me for me? <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna do our best to Copy a lot of this over to the other side. Very easy, very simple. While we're at it, we might as well do it right here too. Get rid of it to about right there. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. I'm just getting the very basic of basic lines done here. Is that a road? Why, why, why is that there? Bruh. ta -da. Math is amazing. Oh, yeah. Ow. I just hit my knee everywhere. Sorry. On my desk. That was, Sorry if that was loud. I just want to get, I mainly want to get the line work done so I don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> I hate doing the traffic lines and stuff. So obnoxious. Ooh, all right. So how's everyone doing? Everyone having a wonderful day so far? Going to the gym? I should do the same. Definitely should do the same. Let's see you, Jake. Road is, roads are starting to look like roads. So that's a good sign. Oh. 
<clears throat> right, and here's a walkway. Sidewalk. In case you're walking. People that don't have opportunity to Oh, okay. We elevate or something there? The terrain change there is just decided it wanted to be on the ground now. What am I doing? Uh, we're working on this uh, awesome park. This awesome little park. Working on a... Uh, right now we're working on... Uh, a lot of the road work for parking and, and stuff like that. <clears throat> Name's Dylan. Well, welcome to the stream, Dylan. Nice to have you. All right, here's our sidewalk. Constructed by nothing. Let's see, push it out a little further that way. There we go. Problem solved. Sort of. So we're going to have multiple places where the guest spawners are going to be. One of them is going to be the sidewalk. Another one's going to be the bus stop. And then I might have one or two in the parking lot. They really get guests coming from all directions. <clears throat> oh, you play the cello. Nice. I play saxophone myself. I'm a, more of a wind instrument guy. I play a lot of wind instruments. Saxophone's my main. Alto tenor and berry. Sometimes soprano. Have a lot of patience? Uh, no, I don't actually. <laughs> Trust me, I don't have. I have the the exact same same problem. I have I have much of a patience issue. Very much so. I'm I'm in the very same boat. Don't worry. Trust me, I, I don't know how I like I, I have so many failed parks. Lots of failed parks that I never finished because of my patient issues. 
patience issues that I have, so. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we've been working on this park since mid last year or early last. How long have I, have I been working on this park? Does anybody remember? <laughs> I know I started on it off screen. Like I didn't start it on screen. I know that. I knew that for sure. Okay. We're going to create a little crossing here for our guests. This is the uh, back way to the employee lot. So real quick, we're going to create a crossing. You know, the ones that have the little diagonal lines here. Unless I do that and mess everything up. Uh, um, I like a lot of jazz, classical. Um, I like a bit of everything, honestly. To be honest. Like, I love classic rock and... Um, you know, certain pop songs. Just a little mix of everything. Only genre, really, the list is shorter of genres that I don't like. <laughs> and that's uh, country. I, I'm not a country fan. I do not like country music. <clears throat> uh, as for musicals, I don't know many musicals myself, too many musicals. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's kind of hard to tell. Get rid of that little green strip in there. Just with a little bit of painting. And get rid of that. Almost like we're Bob Ross, just painting it in there. Speaking of Bob Ross, I need to paint another painting. I haven't painted in a while. Maybe I should paint on stream. Would you guys like that? <laughs> Have me paint a photo on stream following a Bob Ross walkthrough. That'd be fun, right? New World Symphony, nice. Painting with Joe. <laughs> I'm not very artistic. I've never been great at art, but oil painting, like, I surprised myself a little bit when I uh, watched some Bob Ross videos, and I was like, you know what, he makes it look really easy, I'm gonna, I want to try it. So I went and tried it, and it turned out better than than I ever, anything I've ever done art-wise. <laughs> I was pretty impressed with myself. What orchestras? Um, gosh, I don't know. Okay, so that's coming together.
So we are going to have to clear out the way with the trees here. I wasn't planning on putting a path here until net just now, so let's go ahead and clear the way a little bit. I do want to keep it kind of nature-y here, though. Kind of like a little trail that you have to go on. You have to go through this little trail to get to the park. You know? Almost feels like a little trail. Walking through the trees, behind the rocks. <clears throat> yeah, I like City Skylines. I have it. I haven't played it in a long time, though. Video of me playing football? I mean, there is, yeah. Uh, I guess there is a video that I did put up um, on one of my super old accounts. I did put up a video of some of my highlights back in, like, junior high. That was pretty good. <laughs> That's the trail where you get murdered? Jeez, why do you have to make it so dark? I was just saying it's a nice little nature-y trail. <laughs> Making it so dark now, Silas. I want to make a little photo op spot here. So we are going to move this light just a bit. Let's put it in front instead. Why is this here? Why? Why? What happened here? You know, we can always fix everything with scenery. You know, I could go in. Try and figure out what the heck happened there. But you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm just going to plop a rock in front of it. Something's <laughs> just to fill the hole. Maybe even add a little bush. Because we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. In the good words of Bob Ross. <coughs> Favorite movie? Ooh, I don't know if I can really pinpoint a favorite. <coughs> to be honest. And then I kind of want to put a little fence here. We don't want guests walking out into the street. I want to keep them limited to right here, so. Avengers Endgame. Endgame's good. I, I liked Infinity War a little bit better. Personally, but... I love Endgame as well, so... But I personally like um, Infinity War just a little bit better. Hmm. Infinity War is probably my favorite Marvel movie. Either that or No Way Home. Spider-Man No Way Home was also really good, MCU movie-wise. Alright, we're going to actually throw a curb down here. I'm in scenery, we're... Let's 
just to ensure guests do not walk out here onto because I could see guests like thinking this is a shortcut for some reason, even though it's not. <clears throat> and like go walking on the road instead of on <laughs> in here. Oh, are we permanently closed? We're closed for the season. Google never lies. I think Google lies about a lot of stuff sometimes. <coughs> Awkward. All right. All right, we will put like a little low fence here of some sorts or, or just something. Probably not this fence, but um, let's go with a uh, low fence. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's make this kind of like a dark brown. Because why not? Ooh, all right, Peace of River City. I, I haven't heard anything, so... <laughs> I think they would tell the employees that we wouldn't have a job anymore if that was the case. I mean, you'd think, right? <laughs> <clears throat> I love that I'm doing this much work outside the park. I think about putting some of those fish in there. There's an animated fish. There's a little koi fish. How's the animation work on these guys? Maybe going through the rock though. <laughs> about this one fish? He just, he sits in the same spot though. <laughs> Got one koi fish. Oh, this one will work. Maybe throw another one. Going around this way. Don't run into each other. No. And they ran into each other. Don't run into each other again. These fish don't like each other. Oh my gosh, what do, what do you mean what did you put in general? I, I haven't, there's stuff I have, what do you mean? You haven't put anything in general. <laughs> oh, now you do. Oh, one-way sign, look at that. I could use that actually, I'm gonna, oh wait, I already have it. <laughs> Never mind, I already have it apparently. I already have that one. <clears throat> I don't know if I've used it yet, but I have it. Apparently, so.
All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna get a light here. I wanna get a nice little lamp. Light it up pretty good here. Um, I'm gonna put an area light here that is just gonna, its purpose is gonna make sure there's more light coming off of this lamp. We're gonna place another one over here, make it a little bit more dim. So it just kind of has like a little bit of a better fade. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Much nicer. Okay. I might, what? No. Terrain? What do you mean terrain? that light go there it is there we go I am gonna go ahead and put this in a senior group that way it's easy to duplicate uh, of course of course I put of course we missed a fence there <clears throat> Water's so blue because I used one of, uh, I'm not using like normal water. I was using a, uh, um, uh, one of those little fountains pieces instead of using the water. So I didn't have to dig down. How does the light work? Does the light look, work a little bit nice in here in these, these water pieces? No, not really. I wish water looked better in at night and playing a coaster. It really doesn't look great, so. <clears throat> I like I really like IMAX movie theater wise. J Trains, you have returned. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Team Maker's Toolkit water piece? It's not Team Maker's Toolkit, it's in game. It's not even Team Maker's Toolkit. It's just this fountain. Under center pieces. That's all it is, is this. Yep, just a fountain. In game. Base game. <clears throat> not even DLC. Oh yeah. If you ever want to make like small, tiny little ponds like this or something, like something really tiny that you can't really accomplish uh, with using the other stuff, that's what I usually go to. So very, very useful. Very useful.
Okay, we're we'll good. This piece, I just want to make a nice, make this be a nice little beautiful planter. In the end. Harry Potter movie. Um, it's really hard to pick one, but probably Prisoner of Azkaban. It's one of my favorites. Just gonna get our grass patches in here. Gives us a nice little bit of 3D grass. <clears throat> Which looks quite nice. I'm gonna patch up that little spot right there. Ah. Here we go. Maybe get some small trees over here. <clears throat> oh, you know what I want to do? I want to do the um, the billboard. The big old billboard on the road. Let's just turn right here. That'd be great. I could probably make the billboard. I'm going to have to do the... Uh, actually make the sign in Photoshop, though. I'm just out of curiosity, I wonder if there's any on the workshop. I typically build my own stuff, but you know, if I find one good enough, let's go with billboard. Oh, there are some good ones on here. I can see that right now. That one's not too bad. That one looks pretty good. Need something big. Railway billboard. <coughs> Highway billboard. Oh, this one looks good. I think I'm going to go with this one. This one looks great. Very, very good. Blueprints. Uh, we're gonna go. This guy right here, look at this. Perfect, perfect size. That's great. I didn't want to place it. I'll auto save. Come on. <clears throat> uh. 
But I just want to do like a billboard sign that says next right, you know, and have Gold Rock Park next right. I think it would look really, really cool. Be perfect. That's not exactly where I wanted to place it because stupid thing. Auto save killed me. I think I'm gonna use this one though because it looks it looks great. <coughs> so you can do from there and from here. On this side, other side, I might say, come back and see us again. Maybe. Or I'll put a random, maybe I'll put a, something random on there, like Chief Beef or something. Now, this obviously is two billboards and one. So what we're going to have to do, which makes sense, we're going to have to do a image and cut it into two pieces for both sides. So... I have to go into Photoshop and uh, make it into two images and just put, uh, make sure they line up together. <clears throat> Crop it out halfway. Um, hopefully I know how to do that. Hopefully that's not too hard. <clears throat> yeah, this is this is fantastic though. Really good billboard. Love your content. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Okay, so what do we do here? So, for instance, we have Gulpy there. Planet Coaster, that's your worst. Favorite composer, I really like Gordon Goodwin. It's like my favorite jazz band group. Gordon Goodwin's big fat band. Those are going to be our placeholders. It's okay, I got my cough drops today. Dab a green pier garbo. I speak Planko. Alright, thanks for spamming. Thanks, Silas, for that. I figured he was a bot. Bot, 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 bot. Bots. Stupidest thing ever. But they look nice at night too. Yeah. What mod am I using to make it make what pink? What are you talking about? Oh, the UI? That's not even. Well, I mean, that's not pink. That's red. <laughs> kind of like a color of red, but it's not a mod at all. All you gotta do is go to your settings. And then go to your interface and choose whatever color you want. It's not a mod.
That's not pink. <laughs> That's red. It's totally red. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll leave it up to you guys. Do you guys want me to go into Photoshop and make this sign real quick? Or should I do that off screen and do that? What do you guys think? You want me to see my Photoshop skills? <laughs> like I said, we might go into uh, Blender and create some signs too if you guys want to do that, but that's up to you guys. Go into Blender, make some custom signs since I'm so hyped and excited. Also shows you guys kind of how to do it too. Oh yeah, I, I plan on streaming for a while. I have nothing to do today, man. I just want to work on stuff. I want to be productive today. <clears throat> uh, the Photoshop session won't take too long. I just gotta bring up Photoshop and... Only thing I might have trouble with is cutting it into two pieces. Um, so basically... 1920... So if we're doing 1920 by 1080, we would want to do 1920 times 2 Keep it the because the height's gonna stay the same. We just need to make the length double. Is what we gotta do, and then we have to cut it in half. Um, I probably didn't see it, but <laughs> maybe I'll check it out later. <laughs> I mean, don't. <clears throat> I know you're not probably trying not to advertise yourself, but you know. But 373 views isn't bad, man. Okay, so we want to do, actually, let me make sure you guys can see this. Uh, okay, let's do a window capture, and we want to capture Photoshop. I don't know how well this will turn out. Window capture. Okay, well, that's super zoomed in. It's there, but it's super zoomed in. Here we go. Let me, uh, let me fix this. I can fix this. All right, now we're in Photoshop. Yay. All right, let's do a new. Um, what's 1920 times 2? I, I don't like doing math, so I have a calculator that does it for me. 1920 times 2 is 380. Oh, of course, 3840. I'm stupid. I should have known that already. All right, so this should be the length of our billboard. Uh, and... We need to cut it in half when we're done. <clears throat> Do I have any tips? Uh, not really, except just keep doing what you're doing. You know, a thousand views isn't isn't bad already. Six videos with over a thousand views. I mean, it sounds like you're doing all right yourself. I mean, I struggled to get a thousand views on a lot of my videos, so I mean, and then I have some that just explode. So, <laughs> you know, but all right. Um, I don't know if you guys are any of you are really good with Photoshop or anything like that. I'm not the greatest. Um, there's sh but I would imagine there's a way where we can crop out half of this or like cut it in half and cut it into two photos. That should be simple enough. I, I have a way of I think I don't know if it's the best way to do it, but I have a way that I'm thinking of. But um, yeah, <laughs> OK, uh, let's get into it. Let me open up. Let's get our uh, gold rock park logo in here. Uh, let's go logos. Should we do the one without the background or with the background? We got, see, I got this one right here, which is just the um, text. <clears throat> and I'm not good at that. I'm not the best. I'm not a marketing person. Very great. Great. And I'm not like a marketing person. 
So we're just going to say next right. Blow this up. I might try and do the same um, font here. What is the next? What, is, what font did I use here? I should have remembered. Is it under my recently used? It's this one right here. I'm gonna make this nice and big. Like, how big's 100? I think this is the one I used. Okay, we might put some images in the back. <clears throat> a picture of your CEO giving a thumbs up. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. I would. Well, I mean, I probably could. I would have to find uh, stock footage of a thumbs up and make it look like it's coming from him. All right, let's make this look a little bit less nightmarish and look more similar to Cold Rock here. <laughs> well, you guys can't see my extra boxes. That's okay. So we're going to go gradient overlay. And we want to select uh, color. And for this color, we want just a darker version of that. Don't know how well that would will look. Let's put a uh, outline on it. Make that outline black. I might make that a little brighter. It's a little bit too dark. We need people to know. Or do I have the? Uh, oh, the opacity's not all the way up. That's why. I fixed it. Give it a little bit of an outline. Maybe an outer glow. And make that glow like an orangish color. Just trying to make it kind of match our our logo here a little bit. <laughs> For a horror maze. Exactly, we don't want that. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So I think that's going to be our text. Now we just need to figure out some poppy images that just like something that pops out at you. Now, <sighs> we could start do like a, a nice bat, some sort of background here. So we take this rectangle, maybe do like a pattern overlay. Um, that's a little bit too much, obviously. We're not gonna, I'm just trying to get something, maybe something along the lines of that, and then if we do a gradient overlay. We can kind of do something like that a little bit. It might be too much of the same color. So instead of yellow, maybe go with more of an, an orange, just so the letters pop a little bit better. We want the letters popping. All right, let me adjust the rectangle here to fit a bit better on the screen. So it's taking up the whole thing. Fit it in just perfectly. Maybe even give it a slight border. Let's do a inner shadow or an inner glow. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. I don't even have the right thing selected. Look at me. Inner glow. Do an inner glow or an inner your shadow. <clears throat> Let's do inner shadow. And our inner glow. Kind of like that. Uh, we can size it up a little bit here. <coughs> I 
<clears throat> we need to have like maybe a motto under this too. Just like, you know how like SDC has, you have a great past ahead of you. Something like that. Some sort of motto or phrase. You have gold rocks ahead of you. <laughs> Top 10 theme parks. I got Islands of Adventure as my favorite, number one. In Orlando. Universal's Islands of Adventure. I love that park so much. I absolutely love it. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? Cedar Point's up there for me. Cedar Point's probably like number two for me. Love Cedar Point, of course. I thought about making, I thought about maybe taking uh, one of our screenshots or something. So we go place embedded and photos. And go coaster. Coasters, Velocicoaster for sure. Love Velocicoaster. Okay, so for instance, if I wanted to do like something like this in here. And what we're going to want to do is make it to where you're just gonna take this. All right, we're not gonna use magic eraser. We're gonna we're gonna go full on edit mode here. I'm gonna try and eliminate the background here of all this. Uh, and kind of just keep uh, the coaster here. Flat ride, uh, for me, I love SNS Screaming Swings myself. Love SNS Screaming Swings, probably my favorite flat rides. I don't ride flat rides very often. But if there's an SNS Screaming Swing, I'll probably hop on. For sure. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect, so. We're not gonna make it super perfect. We just wanna outline the coaster a little bit. Which, honestly, could take a little bit of time. <laughs> but, 
wanted to use a photo of my ride for sure. All of that right there and there. <clears throat> Dark rides. Hmm. It's a tough one. Hopefully, what I'm doing here will work. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> You'll see eventually, but... Eventually. Boom, boom. Ah. Why am I making myself do this? <laughs> so much work. I don't think we need to worry about getting for what I want to do. I don't think we have to get the edges perfect or anything because you'll see once we start adding my effects and stuff like that. Basically, we just want to get a basic shape of the structure here. You'll see. Which ride do you love in Knott's Berry Farm? Uh, Ghost Rider is probably one of the best ones there, and then I really like Ting Time a lot too. Ting Time was fun. Definitely my my two favorites in that park. <laughs> Look at me go, I'm in the marketing department. Wonder if we can use a little bit of the magic eraser uh eraser. Help us a little bit. Might work a little bit here. Maybe. Oh, look, look at that. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful erase there. Heck yeah. Might be able to get some of these rustized pieces with it. Nice. What did I hit? <clears throat> what I do? I clicked undo. Not, not that. I'm not 
clicking there. I'm clicking here. There you go. Now, if I miss a spot or two, that's it's gonna be fine. Please trust me. We just need to be close. Not perfect, just close. Yeah, so we're making a, uh, basically we're making a uh, billboard on for the highway. Is what I'm working on right now. So I'm trying to crop out a little bit of the ride here. Just a little bit. Of this ride. And a little bit more it will help us out here. And these should be pretty easy with the magic eraser, which they are so far. And pretty precise, actually. Which I didn't need, but I will take. Those trees are making it difficult. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take it. So if there's just a little bit in there, that's fine. It's not gonna matter too much. There's so many spots though. <laughs> so many spots. Stupid, stupid taskbar, go away. I didn't call for you. <sighs> yeah, time just flies by. It really does. This car? Getting on my nerves. My nerves. Making some progress here. Filling a lot of this in. It's not picture perfect, but that's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just needs to be close. There's a little bit there, it's all right. Try and get around the trains a little bit here. <clears throat> All 
All right, let's go up in just up in here a little bit. Just a little bit. We're going to be doing a lot of editing to this photo to where if there's a little bit that sneaks through, it's it's literally not going to matter too much. We just need it close enough. See the fencing and a little bit, you know? As long as we have kind of like the, the most noticeable spots. All right, let's move over here again. Just avoid erasing anything we want. We don't want to erase stuff that we want in there. That's all we're trying to avoid. Oh yeah, I love Dollywood too. I haven't been there in a while though. And I get in for free. <laughs> but it's just ten and, uh, ten and a half hours away, so... <laughs> so unfortunately, I don't get to experience it very often. <clears throat> See, I could have used some clip art or something like that, but I kind of wanted to use my own images that I have taken myself, so we're going to stick with that. All right, just a little bit of cleaning up here and there. A couple spots that we missed. Bottom down here doesn't matter. We're just going to erase all that. Clean up over here a little bit. One more cleaning up here. Little cracks and crevices that we missed. Because we're going to be going for a little bit of a splatter effect. So don't... That's why we're not going too crazy with uh, with this. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little messy. So, and that's what we're going for. Messy! Okay. I'm going to just kind of clean up a little bit in here. Just kind of those rough spots. All right, we don't need, we're not going to use that. The parts of track where the fence is in front. So we can erase all that. Okay, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna find a see if we can find like a splatter brush of some sorts. Kind of like that, so we can kind of get more random transition like this. So 
So like we don't have any edges that we're gonna worry about. We're gonna have these here instead. Six Flags ride that I like. <clears throat> Full throttle was really good. Um, West Coast Razors. I haven't been. I've only been to two Six Flags parks: Magic Mountain and Six Flags St. Louis. So, <laughs> and I had, didn't even get to ride all the ones in um, Magic Mountain. So they weren't all open. All right, so we're gonna go into image adjustments. Start off with some brightness and contrast. And we're just gonna go through a lot of these. Vibrance, I'm probably gonna, we're gonna go into color balance. I hope this turns out the way I want it. So I know it's not going to be perfect. Six Flags, New England. All right, let's bring a lot of stuff back here. Okay, I don't know why it's did that. I'm gonna use the splatter brush. That's kind of annoying. Instead of splattering, it just painted white. Unless I was on the paintbrush tool, which I didn't think I was. Yeah, it it painted it. That's why. Why did it paint it? <laughs> I didn't want that painted. Dag nabbit. All right, hold on. We're gonna have to go back a bit of ways here. Uh, let's at least turn the background on so I can. It only goes so far back. I can't undo anymore. <laughs> well, that sucks. Thank you for switching that to paint. I wanted to use that brush on the freaking eraser, but I guess that's not an option. Stupid thing. Why can't you use that on the eraser? That's not cool. I think those are cool, but I have to erase all the the stupid things that it did there. Let's make it real soft, maybe. And like that.
I'm going to attempt to fix this as best as I can. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to try. <laughs> What was the mistake? Um, all that white splatter that I didn't want in there. I was trying to splatter the uh, image a little bit, but like it was just all white. This is looking pretty decent right now, so we're going to try and go with this. Get rid of the couple of couple of spots here. <clears throat> I like doing splatter stuff. Lots of splatters and, and such. Next right, we could put under here so it doesn't get overdone by the art here. Art, 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 artwork, art, art, artwork. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, I need to learn how to do Photoshop as well. This is just years of, like, messing around. <laughs> this is all this is. Do, 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 do. All right. That's right. I want to do something, but I forgot how to get there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Edit. Oh yeah, filter. That's what I was looking for. Um, stylize. Might look kind of cool. Blur. Distort. Uh, stylize.
Yeah, it's just a screenshot of it, and I'm just um, doing a lot of filters and stuff to make it really different. All right. <clears throat> yeah, so that's what we were doing that whole time was I was just trying to remove a lot of the um or remove the background so it's more of a uh, transparent background of the ride and then I was just going to just add it a little bit of um or paint to it and different styles and stuff like that. I do want to kind of cover up this edge here. So maybe we can take this duplicate layer. Maybe I can throw the next up here to kind of cover up that edge. Kind of do something like that, maybe. <clears throat> maybe. Ah, right, that's what I was doing that whole time was uh, cutting, kind of cutting it out a little bit. No, that's just the background. See, that's the actual image, what it looks like right now, and then that's just a background for the billboard, is what that is. <clears throat> Alright, how does this look like far away? Background, it's uh, some trees. It's just a pattern overlay. You can even change the opacity and the scale of it. So if I wanted to do more like that, or change it to something else, zoom out just a little bit with the trees. Fun is on the way. Perfect. No, we're not put enough with the Shrek. Isn't this the way it is? <laughs> Not the 
rectangle. The picture. Okay, we'll go to blending options here. Take care of your chickens. Take care of the chickens. Uh, I'll probably be alive for a while. Quite a while. Fun is on the way. Next right. Let me put this above so it's easier to see. <clears throat> oh no. All this for a, a billboard. <laughs> there is a Cedar Point recreation on the workshop. It's a little bit condensed because, you know, the <coughs> it's not big enough, so. World it needs to be a little bit bigger. I don't know, that right make, red makes it pop a little bit. I'm going to go with that red. All right. Make sure it's the same. We're just going to do a copy of it. And then just type next instead. Use that up a little bit. Next right. Fun is on the way. Gold Rock Park. <laughs> Can you seriously hear the cat in the background? That's funny. <laughs> what do you guys think? I'm not the greatest at Photoshop or marketing, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Yeah, it's Kylo. <clears throat> Wish I was a little bit better, but you know, I I don't think it's half bad. Kind of looks old school. advertising one of our rides you know all right let's go ahead and save this sucker up um actually before we do that we need to cut it in half um so yeah i don't know how to do that anybody got an idea on how to do that because <clears throat> we got to cut this into two
Let's see. I can get this selection exactly in the middle. Where's the center? Where's the center? Direct me into the center. 19, we need 1920 by 1080. 19, wait for it, wait, 19, there it is, there it is, 19, 19, 19, 19, 1920, come on. <laughs> we keep skipping 20, 1920, that should be like the one it should stop on. <laughs> 1922, 1919, nine, no, 19. Oh, great. I wonder if I can move, or type it in anywhere. <coughs> can I type this in? What did I do? I don't even know what I'm what I'm at now. What am I in? Yes, discard selection. I I don't. I just want to get back to to normal. Where am I at? What did I click on? How do I get out of this? Oh, okay. Escape. <laughs> okay, I'm at 1919. <clears throat> See if I can select this right at 1920 will be perfect. Usually you can snap it. Like it will it will snap to 19 or to center, but it skips 1920. It goes 1919 to 1922. Like, there's no, there's no snapping it to exactly where I need it, which is stupid. So that's pretty dumb. I need to move it over one pixel, but I can't. There's the center. You see the center? There's the center. The line turned up. There's the line right there. I found it. Alright, and then we just move this over, and we should be good. That's not 1920. There's 1921. 1920, I got it. I selected it. Okay, well, actually, what we need to do... Is what we're gonna do is save as... Uh, JPEG... <coughs> we'll just save it here, yes. Billboard, we'll just call it Billboard Full. Yes, and then we're gonna open... Open it up. That way I don't have to worry about the layers and stuff. 
There it is. And now we can, we should be able to select it and cut it in half. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a new one. That's this is the only way I, I can really that I thought about this is going to work. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to start the selection here. And I'm just going to move this until I get to 1920. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, no, no, no. Oh, crap. I had it, but I wasn't high enough. There it is. 1920 by 1080. Okay. Pull this out. And that should slot right in there. There's half of it right there. So we're going to save this. And I'm going to actually just save it straight into the Planet Coaster Media file. As a JPEG, we're going to save it as Gold Rock Billboard 1. Delete that, and then we go back over here. I want to delete this. Delete. De delete. De delete. <laughs> why? Why isn't the delete key working? I don't want fill. Like why? Why? The delete key should delete. No, whatever you just did there, no. Oh, dear goodness. Good golly, Miss Molly. Okay, um, we're just gonna try this instead. I'm sure there's a much more efficient and better way to do this, but this is going to work regardless. <laughs> okay, save as. It works. Okay. No, the fun's coming to you. This is where you, uh, you got it confused. The fun is coming to you because it's right on your right and it's up to you to get there. All right, billboard two saved. We should, <coughs> oh gosh, should be good now. Everything should be good now. Okay, I'm going to save this in case I need it. In case we need to come back to it, we're going to save the project file. Let's we'll save it in logos, Gold Rock Park, and we'll save it as a billboard. Save. Okay, that's saved. And we're heading back into the game where hopefully... We should be able to do this. Okay, so let's go to image and we're going to refresh. So everything's refreshed there and we need to find our G's. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it's the next G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There we go, there it is, there's one. And we go over here and we'll find two. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Billboard 2. Aha! <clears throat> There's a little gap there. It's not too noticeable. Maybe we can... Nah, it's just a line that we're not going to be able to get rid of, but we got it! <clears throat> Look at that. We have a sign. A billboard. Pretty big too. See what it looks like at night. It does kind of look horror, horror themed a little bit, <laughs> but that's okay. I like to think of it more of a painting than an actual photo. So it's supposed to look more like a painting of the ride, like a an art. It's not actually a photo that was taken of the ride and put on the billboard because um, it's more of a painting. So it still works for 1977, okay? <laughs> as much as it does kind of look like a horror uh, event with the fonts and everything. <clears throat> All right. Does look real nice, doesn't it? We got a billboard. Hooray. Go take every chicken, Silas. <coughs> Excuse me. Man. Man, oh man. Excuse me. Sorry. I think it's time to take in another cough drop. I'm running out. I only have a four left. Okay. All right. Okay. Now it's a matter of what do we want to work on now? Do I try and do some 3D modeling and Blender, or do we um work on some more stuff? Because I'd like to make <coughs> a really cool sign for the entrance here. What do you guys think? Should I try another uh, toolkit item? And you guys can see the process of how that's made. It shouldn't take too ter- well, it might take a little bit because I might have to figure some stuff out that I've never done before. I should be able to do it no problem though. I, I think so. It's going to be a little bit tougher because there's going to be a lot more precise because I have to go around the, the letters and everything. 
So it's going to be a little bit harder. A little bit. Because basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating the sign with without this little a rectangular backdrop. So... All right, <clears throat> I might have to close it. I don't know, can I launch two things at the same time? Or would it close another thing in Steam? Can you have two things running at the same time in Steam? Is that possible? Or will it close the other program? I better save just to be sure. I don't want to close that planet coaster. I will if I have to, but. I think you can do it because they're not they're not two games. One's a software, so in theory, I think I should be able to. <clears throat> but I'm gonna save the park just in case it does close Planet Coaster. Well, Blender's on Steam. I mean, so I have Blender on Steam. I don't know. I didn't know if you could run two things on Steam at the same time. I'm sure you can. <coughs> I just have never done it before, so. All right, so that's that. I'm sure it would warn you before it would close anything. Launch Blender. Yeah, we can do both at the same time. Cool. I figured we could. Now I am running an older ver an old version of Blender just because the tutorials were on the older versions of Blender, so I decided to use the older version because the newer version is completely different. I couldn't find anything in the newer version. So just keep that in, keep that in mind. That that's how that's going, so. All right, let's head into Blender. We're in Blender now. Uh, cursor to center. All right. So we're going to start off by first getting the images together. Actually, I do need to probably get some stuff together here before I get started uh, image-wise. So we're going to find our images. I'm going to just put everything in the same folder so it's a lot easier to deal with later. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go into my logos, Gold Rock Park, and we're going to get the... <coughs> image needed here for this. Copy. I'll go into my toolkit. And we're going to create a new folder called gold sign empty. See the, the really hard part to do here is that um, everything's got to be named properly, otherwise it won't work. So you got to make sure certain things are named correctly. Let's call this gold sign. E. I'm just gonna call it gold sign E and then underscore PC. Okay. <coughs> okay, and now that we have that in there, I'm gonna get my rest of my other files that I need in here. I'm gonna cop no 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 not paste. Copy. I'm just gonna rename you because everything's got to be the same name. Build sign, BC, and RN. Okay.
copy and I'm gonna paste a copy of you in here and we're just gonna rename you icon. There we go. Got my files ready. Should be easy to go now. All right, so now we're gonna do background image. This is how we're gonna start off. I got everything already set up here. So, and I just saved it at startup. So everything should be good. Background image and we're gonna add image and we're gonna open an image. So I need to go to um, gold sign empty, gold sign E, B, C, okay. <clears throat> All right, and if we look here, we should see our gold rock park sign with no background. <clears throat> Basically, we wanna make this sign where there's no background and it's just the letters, you know, cause you can't really do that with a billboard, so that's basically what we want to go for. Now, if I wanted to do rocks as well, I'd probably go and make the image with rocks first. Um, so this is going to be basically our template and outline for our 3D model um, that we're going to be using. So, And there's a lot more edges and stuff with this one, so it's going to be a little bit tougher than a rectangular sign with a little bit of rocks on the bottom. So... <clears throat> but this will be a good challenge for me, I think, in the long run. Now, we want to make this a little bit bigger, so I'm going to change this. The last sign was... Uh, I want to make it as big as the last sign, so we're going to go 6 meters. Oh, gosh. We're zoomed in. <laughs> 6 meters for that, so... <clears throat> the biggest you can get is 8 meters, but I don't want to go quite 8 meters because I feel like I might go over by accident and it won't work. Um, so I think six meters is a good spot to have a little wiggle room and still make a fairly big sign. Uh, can I link the tutorial? I can, uh, uh, if you want to, if I can find it again, <laughs> but I'll do that later. So, all right. <clears throat> so first things first, we're going to want to create, we need to add some vertices to create our shape around this. So. This is going to be very, very interesting and difficult because there's a lot of spots here to, to work around. And I think I can make a full rotation. I just might have to do some extras for the O's and the D um, to work around that we might have to open up. So we're just going to try it out, try and see what happens. We're going to add a plane. I'm going to go into edit mode and we're going to go to vertice select and select oops select that vertice and we're going to delete these until we have just one vertice and we're going to move this vertice to wherever we want to start basically well, let's just start at the bottom of the r here you know one thing i don't know how to do and that's move left and right up and down within here <laughs> Which is pretty funny, actually. <clears throat> Not really. All right, so if we hit E, we can start making our vertices going around here. Basically, what we're doing here is I'm creating the shape of the sign. The actual physical shape. This background image is literally just our guide, so we know where our vertices need to go. Okay, and then we're gonna go this way. And I'm hoping everything here goes smoothly. And this will be end up being pretty easy. But we'll see. Can have up to 8,000 triangles as well, which I don't think we'll have to worry about going over that limit or anything. This will, however, have a lot more than my last sign because there's just so many more vertices. So once we, uh, this. I'm gonna use this sign. Try and use this sign for uh, mainly the front entrance. 
because I don't want that big blocky sign up there. I want a nice clean park entrance. So we're going to try and do this as best as we can. We're going to probably have to make a few faces and cut out the zeros and Ds, which hopefully I can figure that out pretty easily. I think it won't be too hard based on what I have learned from the tutorials and stuff that I have done. Look at me go. We're This is probably the longest and most tedious part is adding these vertices and stuff. The rest of it's actually pretty easy and quick. All right, so for this, we're going to have to go, we're going to go down and then back up. Um, <clears throat> we'll have to cut a hole out right there, too. Let me do that. So when we complete the ci circle, cycle, cycle circle. So we're going to go start heading back this way. And we're going to head up the L. Yeah, this is definitely going to be much bigger <clears throat> and a little more difficult of a sign. This doesn't have to be like 100% perfect as long as you're kind of close. It's not going to like you won't really notice anything off or anything. But yeah, basically what we're doing now is just creating our shape and we can adjust these vertices later. So if you mess one up, you can always move it around to a better spot or even get rid of some if you as we get to the point could get to the point where we have too many triangles. We might have to cut it down a bit. All right, we're to this line now. And now over to the K. Oh, I forgot there's a cat in here. Yeah, that's why Kylo was crying so much because he's jealous that there's an, uh, that his sister's in here. Okay. All right, there's a gap between this and the word park, so we are going to do that. all that in there all right we might be able to get around the sea because there is a very small gap that we're gonna run through here Don't have to cut this out. Again, hopefully I do everything correctly here. Because if not, it can suck. <laughs> the first time I did the sign, I didn't save it, and it doesn't warn you. Like, hey, do you want to save first? It doesn't actually warn you. So you got to remember to save your project or you got to start from the beginning again. Which we don't want to do. Okay, we should be able to go up and around there. No problem. Up and around our O here. <clears throat> and you can upload videos that ha or photos that have like a white background and you can have do this around with a little white outline if you wanted to. I'm just using PNGs because I'm basically 
kind of cutting this out almost in a sense. Oh, look at that, we're almost there. All right, and then to finish, we're gonna hold the shift key down, right click on that, and then click F. <clears throat> All right, we got that selected. <clears throat> we select all of that and push F, that will fill it in which I don't know if we want to do just yet. I think we want to select everything first before we fill in. I could be wrong. All right, let's deselect everything. Let's add another plane. Deselect it. And we're going to do the same thing here. Delete these vertices. And we're gonna highlight the park here on the bottom right. And after we do this, we're going to Gonna want to cut everything else out as well that we haven't cut out yet. Yeah, this one's gonna be a lot more challenging, but I'm up for the challenge. Well, welcome back, Silas. I'm surprised a lot of you guys are still here. You guys look like you're just kind of chilling because no one's hardly in chat. While I'm just like tediously cutting this out. All right, the A right there. The good thing the R and A and, and park here, we don't have to worry about too much because we don't have to. They're filled in with the background. There's they kind of have a background. So the smaller ones here, we don't have to do much of anything. So that's good. New hockey gear. Okay, and boom. That's another one done. Now we just got to cut out the O here, the D, this O, this section here, and right here, and this section. So we have a couple more sections we got to cut out. Let's start off with another O up here. Make sure we don't have anything selected. We'll add another plane. Okay, and deselect the plane. Three of the vertices, delete them. So we just are stuck with one again. And we're gonna cut out the O. One podcast. Uh, these sections should be fairly straightforward and easy. Basically, we're going to outline these just to cut them out. Okay, there's one there. One O down. Trust me, everything's going to move along a little faster after we get this done. At least, I hope. As long as I don't have any issues with do anything because this is a little bit newer something slightly different than what I did last time so there's a lot more triangles involved with this and a lot more vertices and stuff that I gotta worry about ok 
Okay, there's another one. All right, that O's done, that D's done. A few more here. All right, let's take care of this R. Did I get that connected? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Just making sure. <clears throat> All right, we're going to do this O, and then we got to do this spot and this spot, these two, and then I guess there's a couple spots right there. Jeez. <laughs> It's like never ending. Let's start right there. But yeah, I'm pretty comfortable enough. Like I said, I was able to make that sign without the tutorial today, so I just kind of redid it again. Fixed a mistake that I did last time, and I was able to do it without even bringing the video up. So, pretty proud of myself for that. Hopefully, I can do the same thing here. But again, there's a little bit more going on here, so... We gotta keep an eye out because this is a little bit different because I have to I've never had to like cut spots out before so <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I know how to do it it's just gonna be a little different than what I've done before in the past so and I hope I don't have to redo anything here because otherwise that would kind of suck All right, so let's go ahead and cut this out up here. So nothing's gonna be cut out until we actually cut it out. We just gotta outline these out and then delete them before we do everything else. There's that one. That's already good. That's already good. Let's go right here. There's a couple of really small spots, too. I know I'm going to miss cutting one out. Of, I know it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But the thing about this sign, you have to be a little bit more precise and, and everything because there's a lot more to cut out and such. <clears throat> so, all right, we need these two spots here. And then if I really want to get technical, there's a tiny spot between the L and the D right there that I think I will go ahead and do as well, just to be precise. Just to be consistent. These are all real small spots. All right. So 
But if I can get this without looking up the tutorial and uh, <clears throat> have no issues again, I'm gonna be like ecstatic, man. I'm gonna be so happy. Because it means I'll like, I don't wanna say master, but I'll be pretty familiar with how to make like basic signage and stuff. If that makes sense. Okay, <clears throat> alright, let's go ahead and do that tiny little piece there, because I want it to look as good as possible. So even if there's a little gap, we're going to take care of it. All right, let me make sure I got all everything and didn't leave something out by accident. I think I'm good, though. I think we got everything in there. <clears throat> Am I going to do rocks at the bottom? If I did, I would have to do that. I would have to start over because I would have to put in a separate... Um, I don't think I'm going to because I would have to go into Photoshop first and create that first before being in blender so and then i would have to redo everything i just did right there <clears throat> we're just gonna go with the the text only so okay i think i got everything fingers crossed all right face everything there <clears throat> and then what we're going to want to do is delete those faces on the inside. So if my calculations are correct, all we should have to do is deselect that, go into face selection, and delete these. Okay, we don't want to delete vertices, we want to delete the face, no. See, this is what I don't know how to do yet. It's all face. Did that do anything? Uh-oh. How do we cut that out? Surely there's a way you can delete. Not We don't want to delete the vertices, we just want to delete the face. So if I'm over here on face select, I have the whole face selected. We hit delete, I just need to do delete only edges and faces. No, we don't want to do that. Only faces. Okay, but that's still... Didn't do what we wanted. Dissolve faces, limited dissolve. Hmm. <coughs> I was for sure thinking that you could just delete them, but you can see that that's not going to be, doesn't look to be the case, so. I figured by delete face, that would do it, but no, it just does that, which is not what we want. Oh, come on, why is... Dissolve vertices is not what we want to do there. Dissolve face? What does that do? I didn't do anything. Like it doesn't... Dissolve edges, dissolve... For... 
the seas, no. You think it'd be super simple to just de to delete the inside of a shape with the vertices? <clears throat> you think that would be easy? <laughs> but apparently, that's not the case. All right, I'm going to try something else real quick. We select everything, and let's try pulling it up first. And now see if we can do anything here. Nope, it's still. Um. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. I'm not sure. It's basically acting as if it's just a line. How do you delete that? Is all face. That didn't do anything. <laughs> Ta -da. No, I'm going to have to find a tutorial just on how to delete the inside of something because apparently you can't just delete it. I'm gonna go ahead and try other stuff here. Because all I want to do is delete those. After I figure that out, everything will be easy. I'm just like trying to figure out how. Deform, add, delete. How does one delete those? Because that's not in the tutorial, because there's nothing um, about that, so. <clears throat> in the tutorial because there's no openings in the tutorial. How to make, I'm just gonna ask how to make a donut in Blender. Okay, that's not going to help me. All right, I'm just going to Google it. How to delete. How 
how do you delete um face inside object in blender face select mode select face Display keys, select faces as shown in screenshots. Face should disappear. That's not what I want. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe this one? I think this is what I want. Oh boy. Let's see, this is deleting and merging. watching a tutorial. Glad it works for him just flawlessly. Okay, well, why isn't mine doing that? <laughs> it just, his just deletes, and it's gone after deleting face, which is how it should be. What happens if I delete that face? Yeah, see, it deletes all of that. I want, the, want it to do the same thing for these. See, what I think is happening here is because I made this, it made all of that full. So this is just vertices sitting on top of it. Um, so this is all filled in. But <clears throat> so it didn't do exactly what I wanted it to, I don't think. So what I need to do is... Because what's going on here is I think is they're separate from each other. They're separate uh, vertices that are made. Therefore, therefore, it's just like their own separate shapes and such. So <coughs> the issue I'm running into here is that these are just sitting there. They're not actually anything basically <laughs> so if i was to delete these can't select that one for some reason This one's fine though. Don't. Shouldn't have to worry about that. But what what is going on with this one? Why is this one still here?
Let's just get it deleted real quick. Okay. So now we're back to here. Okay, we don't want to delete that. Only faces. Okay, yeah, the vertices is still there. <coughs> so basically, you can see that those since they're not part of the same thing, makes it really difficult. <laughs> this is what it does. Okay. All right, let's go vertice mode here. I'm going to delete a vertice and select this one. And basically, now I'm just going to Simplify this somewhat. This will allow us to do these. We're still going to have an issue that we need to figure out, but this will at least. fill in <clears throat> those. See, these we can kind of cheat and work around a little bit. kind of put ourselves in there and then come back around. And this will solve a partial issue. <laughs> this will just solve part of it. Not all of it, just part of it. This will get all these gaps uh, in here. Okay, that one's taken care of. So we got all those in there, all those little gaps in there now. Now we just need we need to get this one. This mini one this little mini one. So this will fix part of it. Okay, so if we did that, you can see that we got everything. We just got to cut out 
uh, the inside of the O and the the D and, and stuff. <clears throat> Let me use my big brain here. Okay, we're not gonna, <laughs> not gonna do that. So we don't want to create, but rather continue this right here. Another option, but I don't know if it would work. Hmm. Um, there might be something that works. Hold on. I got a big brain idea. Let's delete this vertice. Gosh, that was way back there. All right, that's fine. Um, we're gonna go down into here. So watch real carefully. This should all be part of the same thing in theory. Boom. Okay, so you can see that we, if we did it this way, we'd have a gap in here. However, if we go in and delete these edges real quick, these should still be linked. In theory, they should still be linked to those big brain. So if I connect these together, here and connect these together here. In theory, we should, it should all be together in uh, the way it should be. Ah. Maybe this sort of seat down here. Right? Okay, so if I face that out, like so. Deselected everything, do face select. And now if I delete it. Okay, never mind, it doesn't it doesn't work. <laughs> oh come on, man. What's up with that? I was so confident that that was gonna work. <clears throat> so confident. So confident. <laughs> what if I did this? What about this? Thanks, Silas. <laughs> what does this do? Nothing.
This might be complete cheese. But if it works, it works. Select face. Hey! But will there be a line if I extrude? Let's say I do that. Let's say if I... There is a small line in there that could be noticeable. But after you get the image in there, will it be? Mm. I don't know. It is open though. Look at it, it's open. <laughs> <clears throat> so I did, whoa. Um, what? Why did everything disappear? What are you doing? Why did every single thing just disappear when I did control? Why is everything gone? What? What the actual crap just happened? And why is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Even my background image disappeared. It disappeared, it's not even open. You gotta be kidding me. Why did everything, why is everything gone? What did I push to make everything disappear? That not even undo can fix. <clears throat> everything just disappeared. What? Are you kidding me? Why is everything gone? <clears throat> undo doesn't work redo doesn't work everything's just gone everything just went plop and gone forever like what the heck recover autosave is that my autosave <laughs> Gold rock, new gold rock, quit blend. No, that's the gold rock sign. Recovery last section, last session. So you tell me it auto save after everything deleted? Cause that's when I want you to save. <clears throat> I custom all I did was do control Z and everything like a plane appeared. Everything disappeared and then it was just a plane, and then when I did undo again, everything just disappeared. Everything just disappeared, and now everything's gone. Everything that I just did is gone. What the actual crap? It was a plane, yes. That. This is a plane. I'm so mad. I'm so angry right now. Because, like, it started a new... 
almost like if it wanted me, like if I push new, like control N, which I didn't. Yes, it's a plane, though. It is the shape of a square, but it's a plane, which means it's completely flat. It says it right here. I don't know if I want to do this now, <clears throat> since we just lost all of that. I'm so mad that that just did that. It literally just, everything's gone. Like, what the heck? Oh dear goodness. It's not back, I just, it's not back at all. All I did was just reload the stupid picture. All of my vertices are gone. Every vertice that I put in is just gone. Do I even have to do this? I feel like this is the wrong way to do it. Can we just do a path or something? Start from like a point. Do I have to, like... There's my donut. <clears throat> Whatever. All right. Let's just do this. I'm going to save after I get this done, though. Because I'm not doing that again. I'm not going to do that again. Let's just start in this R, shall we? All right, let's try and move a bit quickly here. No messing around. You know, after this is done, this better work flawlessly with no problems. <laughs> Otherwise, I give up on Team Maker's Toolkit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright. Getting around this L. Care of this little gap here. Oh, we don't have to worry about it. That gap later. Concentrated on moving quick right now. <laughs> That's all. Whew. Thank you guys for putting up with this. You didn't have to. You really didn't. But y'all, a lot of you are still here, and I appreciate it. Like I said, you didn't have to. <laughs> but here you are. And y'all call me patient. You guys up here sitting through this this content. Turn yourself for a 10 hour drive. Jeez. You across Kansas? Kansas is one of the most important places to, to drive there. That's for sure. I've done it. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, I did miss this over here, so we're going to go ahead and do this spot right here, and then we'll take care of that. And then, of course, we still got to outline the park. <clears throat> Zip park. So we're going to delete that for to see. And we're just going to head down here real quick. Take care of this little open area. Okay, that's in there now. Now we just got the O's, D, and R. And we start <coughs> the park here.
Okay. All right, now we gotta make our spots in here. So I think what we're gonna do is delete that vertice. Um, let's go from here. <clears throat> we're just gonna make it a vertical cut right there. There's that O. I'm hoping this will still kind of blend in pretty well. is a go. I just got these two up here now. Where to see? Yeah. And those lines won't show much and that they'll just kind of blend in with our font because our font's got some stuff there that hopefully will mainly just kind of blend in more than anything. All right, I think we just got the D left and we'll be good to go. This turns out okay. Hope this works. Okay. File. Save as. <laughs> Looks like empty. We're going to name this. Just going to name it gold sign empty. Save Blender file. Okay, should be saved. So I don't have to do, ever do that all again. <clears throat> okay, so that's what we got so far. It looks like it's good. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and select it all. We're gonna add the face. Why is that filled? Bro, why is that filled? What I do?
that. There we go, that worked, okay. All right, so this is what we got. This is our shape. This is the shape of everything. <clears throat> see, um, I'm gonna see if I can do something. If it doesn't work, that's it's totally fine. I'm just gonna select the front face. Looks like I can do this actually. Nice. I'm not going to do it yet because I just wanted to see if I could do that. All right, shading smooth. We're going to go ahead and smooth the shading here. As you can see, it kind of goes into a weird texture. So we're gonna fix that by going into here and then we're going to select the front face and then we're gonna go and do that. Doesn't have that selected, great. Doesn't have that selected. All right, hold on. We might have to do something else here to fix something. Oh wait, no, we don't. Hold on, I'm dumb. I'm overthinking stuff. That's my problem, overthinking everything like I always do. Shading smooth, go back into here. Face, we just need to make sure we select both faces. Bottom, do the same thing. Oh, hey, my alerts are working. All right, now we look like this. <clears throat> All right, now, now we need to get our textures and and stuff in. So right now we just have our, uh, right now all this is is just a, a shape. That's all this is, just a shape. So what we need to do is get our image actually mapped onto here this is the st this is the part I always for somewhat forget sometimes on how to do. <clears throat> so what we'll need to do here is we're gonna go over to Material, Add New. Make sure I'll just make sure that's selected. And we're gonna do image texture. And then we're gonna open up this one. Open image. <clears throat> okay, and we're just gonna need to go to material view. And down here, we need to change our view to image UV editor and go to this one. And then on this, we need to go to edit mode and go to this unwrap and do project from view project from view I have it selected oh now I have it selected 
There we go. All right, now we have the tat. All we have to do is line this up. So we're gonna grab this, and we need to scale it up. Move it around. Do we need to scale up or down? Uh, we're almost there. How does that look? Let's <clears throat> deselect so I can see it a bit better. And that's what it's looking like right now. Yeah. All right. That's pretty hype. So those little gaps that I had to create aren't too bad. You can kind of, there is slightly noticeable, but they're not too bad. I need to figure out how to do that better next time. Hey guys, look. <laughs> Progress. Okay, so I think we're we got that in there. That's that's something, right? How many triangles do we have? 3232. Jeez. Jeez Louise. That is a lot of triangles. The max is 8,000, so I've almost used half of that. <coughs> what are these? Nerbs? Nerbs path? I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't affect anything. I've never seen, remember seeing these before. So hopefully it's not going to affect anything. It shouldn't, but you never know. But yeah, guys, look at this. We have something in here. <laughs> okay, so now the hardest part of this, well, I thought this was the hardest part. It might actually be more pretty easily. <clears throat> is creating different layers that are uh, some layers or this is the best layer right here so this is the highest uh, quality when you're up close to it now we got to create layers for when it is um, gold sign E am I correct on that gold sign is it a capital S? I don't remember it being a capital S, but it's got to match. Otherwise, it won't work. Let me check. I'm just going to double check. So if it's not the same, it does make a difference. It is... That's okay. We can, this is an easy fix. We'll just put a capital S here on that, and then we should be good. Okay, that's good. <coughs> so what we got to do is rename this. It's got a match. Gold sign E underscore. L zero. Making that our biggest one, best one yet. All right, top ortho and object mode. Make sure everything's selected and we're gonna duplicate it. That and we're gonna name the new one. Same thing, except it's gonna have a one instead of a zero. And we're going to move it the layer to that. So you can go between the two. This is layer one, which is the most detailed. This will be layer two. Now, what we got to do is take our triangle count and cut it 
in each of these. So I got to cut it by 20% on this one. So our current triangle count is 3232. So 3232 minus 20%. So we got to get this layer down to 2585. So there's an easy way of doing that for this first layer, which is nice. <clears throat> so I'm going to try and do this. For this first layer, we're going to need to go into this mode. We just need to go to face select. Is that extra edge there? It is. Why is it deleting all of them? Oh, wait, let's do. No, we want to do face. Only edges, only faces. Why is that deleting the whole thing? Of course it does it now when I don't need it to, because that's what I was trying to do earlier. Dissolve faces. That didn't do anything. Solve edges. Is that what I wanted? Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, yes, okay. That automatically takes us down to 2,500, exactly about where we needed. So I only, I'm good on that one. So perfect. And now we just need to select all and create another, create another one here. I'm going to rename this one L2. Perfect. And now we need to get down to 40%, which we need to get down to 1900, 1939. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this layer to here. Go into edit mode. And I'm going to delete the faces off of this one. <clears throat> those extra faces. Actually, before I do that, I should probably go back to two here because I forgot something. I did forget to do something. Let's go back to this layer right here. I needed to smooth the, the front edge here. So glad I remember to do that. Flat. There we go. I almost forgot to do that. And I don't need to forget that, so. <clears throat> okay. We need to get down to 1900. This should be fairly easy. We just select our, uh, we're in object mode. Let's go to edit mode, face select. We're gonna select this face and do the same thing, dissolve edges. Perfect. All right, and that puts us down to 24, 22. So let me do the same thing to the back here. Delete, solve edges. It puts us down to 2304. 2304, so we just need a few more hundred. A few hundred here, so. I think we can get rid of a couple of edges here to get, get us going, maybe. So let's do our edge select tool. Oh. Dissolve edges is what I meant to do. Could do the other one, but ah, I should. Let's just do this. This will be a lot easier. Okay, so select this face and 
So those edges, that'll get us down to 1600. So a lot more than we needed, but that's all right. Face flat and face flat. And we should look good here, okay. All right, so we're going to L3, and now we can start removing vertices off of this one. So that is what we're gonna do. So first, let's make sure we're in object view we are. Create one, another deep duplicate, and rename to L3. Hold sign underscore L3. And this one we need to get up to 60%, so that is gonna be about 1,200 triangles. So if we go back to edit, you can see we're down to, all right, so we need to drop about 400 or so. That should be hopefully pretty easy to do. So now we're just gonna take away a lot of these edges, and basically we're just getting rid of detailing. And I do want to kind of do this quickly because I have a lot to get down to. I'm going to get a lot of these straight sections that have any extra. At least that I find a bit extra here. There's a lot of room to work here too. We can get rid of those. <clears throat> Just remember, we got to get down. To 1200. <clears throat> so we're going to be pretty far away at this point. So if there's some slight Blah moments, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Basically, we're just going to re remove a few edges here and there. <clears throat> Man, this <laughs> might take a lot longer than I was hoping, but... Because we're still going to have to do more than this. This is just the beginning. Because each edge I delete doesn't take away a whole lot, <laughs> so... <clears throat> this is probably my least favorite part <laughs> of, of this, so... We're in the 1400s yet? No, we just hit 50. Jeez, um. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Cheese. Once we get to the fifth one, things will be easy. It's just getting through these first four where it gets a little bit difficult. Because you literally, literally have to cut corners here. <laughs> like, legitimately have to cut corners. I kid you not. A bad feeling about these openings here.
we'll start over. I feel like I made a couple of crucial mistakes there. Okay, so we're going to start over on this one because I don't want to mess up. As if we mess up a certain way, it can make a huge difference and face, 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 face. Face. I do those on the last one? I must have. I did I think I did those on the last one. I must have. I just got to be a lot more care a lot care. Very careful. I want to try and stay away from those openings that I have. Because if I hit the wrong one, it could mess a lot of stuff up, so... And we don't want to mess stuff up. What on earth did I just do there? All right, we're gonna be careful about everything. Stay away from the openings and we'll be good. Am I down to 15, 20? I got a lot to go. I got a lot to go. All right, we're down to exactly 1,500. And I still got to do one more after this, or another one after this. It's going to be a little tough, but that's all right. 
We'll figure it out. You gotta remember, you're only gonna be seeing it in this quality when you're very far away. You gotta be very, you're gonna be very far away. That's a little too much. Running out of things I can do here. Starting to become a little more difficult. Get rid of that one. Uh, if I can get close to 1300, I might call it there for, for these. Where are we at? We are at 1444. Our goal, which doesn't have to be exact, is 1292. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Well, there's one. I gotta find those hidden ones that are sneaking around that you can get rid of. There's a couple of those. <laughs> they just kind of hide in there. I'll delete more of these. <clears throat> okay, if we can get it down to the 1300s, we can, we can chill out a little bit. I still got to do one more. <laughs> That's going to suck. Probably going to slack off a little bit on the last one. Alright, we are in the 1300s, so I can probably look to... Maybe... Get out of here alive. Yes, I've been ignoring chat. I've been trying to get this done. <laughs> I have a good reason, okay? I made the mistake of doing this on stream. You know what, I'm going to hopefully think, hopefully say that's good for now. If not, oh well. <laughs> We're going to move on to four. <clears throat> I still don't know what these little nerves path are. I don't know where they came from. And I hope it doesn't mess anything up, because I don't know what that is. <clears throat> you know. Okay, so we're on four. This is where it needs to go down to eight, down eighty percent of the quality. Six forty-six is our goal. So I'm gonna say closer to seven hundred is gonna be our goal here, but around there and we still have a grand total of 1300 <laughs> so i gotta cut it by about half man that's gonna be tough let's just let's just go ham i don't care if it makes it look awful in some spots this is, it doesn't matter too much on this one because this is going to be the lowest quality distance. Should get rid of those, but some of those, but I can't.
This is going to be difficult to get down to the goal, man. I don't know if I can do it. I haven't even hit 1300 yet. I hope it is a little bit forgiving and it's not going to just be like, nah, bruh. You got to go more. Because I've gone over on some of the previous ones and it didn't say anything. Like it, it worked. It still worked. So I'm, I'm still hopeful. See if we can find some hidden lines in here anywhere. That are taking everything up. Down to 1200. Supposed to be down to 600. It's rough. Um, let's look a little more inside here. Don't I say bruh a lot? Bruh. Is that something new? I didn't know that was something that was new. Yeah, trust me, I know it's uh <laughs> long and boring. That's why I asked you guys if you guys wanted me to do this on stream. And everyone said yes. <laughs> but the good thing is we're in the home stretch, guys, so we're almost done. We're not, like, too far away. We are getting close. Because after this one, everything's really quick from here. <coughs> after I get through this. I'm just struggling to find any that any more edges I can delete without uh, messing stuff up. Just kind of struggling with that right now. All I'm doing is, right now is I'm making six layers of different um, quality of the signs. So you got to have low quality for when you're zoomed out really far. And the higher quality is for when you're zoomed in on the object. So you got to have six different levels of that. And right now when you get to the lower levels, it makes it really hard. <clears throat> Let me watch you do stuff on the Windowverse Discord server. What do you want me? What do you want to watch me do there? There's nothing really to watch. Hoping to get it under at least twelve hundred, but I don't know. I got to get it low enough that it will accept it. That's what I'm struggling with right now. If it doesn't accept it, I don't know what I'm going to do. Alright, we deleted quite a few there. I can delete these. 
Because you still want to keep the same kind of form and shape of these. Wait, do I still have edges there that I can delete too? Look at that. I'm going to try and get it under 1,200 triangles. And try it from there. Hopefully that will be acceptable. I'm at 1,200 exactly right now. Exactly 1,200. All right, there's one there, so delete that one. <clears throat> okay, those ones didn't affect much, so good there. I'm going to try and roll with that. If that's, if I got to do more, then, well, hopefully it'll work. <laughs> I'm nervous that it won't, but, you know, I'll keep it saved. In fact, we're going to save now. Okay, now we got one more to go. Did I make this mistake again? I did, didn't I? I always do it at least once. But it's okay. So we got it. <coughs> Moved over anyways. Okay, we're in object mode. We're where we need to be, so we're going to go one last one, and this is going to be L5. And instead of doing what we've been doing, we're going to go ahead and just add a modifier after I move this over, because I literally just talked about how I messed that up. Forgot that a minute ago. All right, so now we're going to do decimate. And this one, we got to get it down to roughly 10%. So minus 90%, 323. That's crazy. There's no way I'm going to get it down to 323. But we're going to go down quite a bit here. What are we at right now? 740. I'll keep going until it starts to flatten, because we don't want it to start flattening on us. Like that. We want to avoid anything going flattening. Where are we at right there? 634, I think that's pretty good. All right, we're going to do that. And hopefully it will be nice to us and work. <laughs> so you'll only see this if you're super zoomed out. Which is good for us. <laughs> All right, now we just got to do the rotations. So here's the highest quality. Here's the lowest quality. And then you can see how it changes in quality until you're the furthest up. So, <clears throat> all right, guys, this is what we're going to do. We just got to do a rotate, and then we export. That's all we got to do. So we're going to rotate the Z. What did I do? Did I, did I done mess everything up? Good thing I just saved. <laughs> Isn't it nice that I just saved? Why is there still one there? Oh, I didn't select them all. 
I select all of these. I don't know what those are, but I'm going to select them too because. Eighty and then our x to negative ninety. There we go. Gotta have it rotated this way for it to make the most sense. Make sure every one is rotated. I made that mistake before. Everything is rotated correctly, so let's save again and export. And hopefully this works. And Y forward. And this is not an animation, so we uncheck that. <coughs> Export. All right. A moment you've been waiting for. Hopefully this works. If it doesn't, it's gonna suck. I gotta go into my files real quick and get this all set up. Toolkit. Sign empty. Can you use big icons, please, so I can see them better? Okay. So I need the object. This. This, this, and this. Those four files. Everything matches <coughs> up. <coughs> <coughs> and we are going to send to a compressed zip folder which I will call gold sign empty. That's what we're going to call it. And it looks like we got our files in there. So let's go ahead and start. Go to the theme makers toolkits. Okay, theme makers, theme makers toolkit. Home, sign in. <coughs> and now it's time to create our item. Create new item. We're going to call this gold rock. Park sign I'm just gonna call it entrance Gold Rock Park sign for entrance finder zip file There it is, and a <clears throat> thing for that. Of course, it's too large. All right, I need a I need to create a preview image. Hold on. A, a small preview image. Preview image. Gold sign new. Gold sign. Sign empty. One twenty eight by one twenty is what I did on the last one, so we'll do that. <coughs> We're just gonna do a one twenty eight by one twenty eight custom. 
place embedded and do that one. And we're going to save as a JPEG real quick. Icon empty. Okay. Save that file. Okay. Load that. Sweet. Okay. Category. This is going to be a building wall sign. Uh, we'll just do misc. Theme planet coaster. Simple price. I'm uh, sure if I know it's running cost zero. <clears throat> Plastic medium. Sure. All right. And submit. And with a little luck, that will upload and work. Item has been created and is uploading successfully. So we got through that first wall. I'm going to go ahead and close Blender. Back into Planet Coaster here. <clears throat> Now, I'm not sure if I have to close the game in order to put it in. I hope it works. It's in the queue now, so it got past that. Once it starts building, we're usually in the clear. Usually takes a few minutes. <coughs> but man, that took a lot longer than I wanted it to. So I apologize that for taking so long on that. So hopefully we'll have some good news soon on that. Should I use another cough drop? I think I'm gonna go for another cough drop. I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go for another. Man, things are starting to unfold out here. Um, in the meantime, we can start play. We're gonna. Hey, it's in the building stage. Sweet. Um, we're gonna start. Um, that's the final stage before it approves it or lets me download it. So. But yeah, getting all that is a little hard because again, if you have one thing miss typed like you have to uh, things have to be the same name and such like that and if you get the wrong name it doesn't work and it's it's a bit complicated at times but but so far didn't have to use the tutorial video um <clears throat> did have a few snags that were a little bit on the rough side because I couldn't figure out how to just literally delete a face on something. You have to do auto save now. <laughs> how close am I in the park being finished? I thought I was really close, but after I started this highway, I still have a little bit to do. So once we get this highway and these roads done, um, we'll actually be almost done and then I just want to do a few more details on like um, the backstage areas and such 
Uh, that's mainly what I want to work on. <clears throat> if that makes sense. All right, it's completed, guys. It completed. Download. The sign has completed. Exit Blender. Uh, I didn't know I had Blender open. I thought I closed it ages ago. All right, we're going to take this. We're going to go and put it in our ThemeMakers Toolkit folder. Into your developments, Planet Coaster, TMT, paste. And with a little luck, we're going to refresh. Hopefully it doesn't crash the game. It might crash the game. Uh, yikes. Oh, no, we're good. There it is. It's the one without the background. All right, fingers crossed, guys, that this has no glitches and everything's good. So far, so good. Look at that. Up close, it looks good. Now, the biggest test is when we start to zoom out. Everything's looking okay so far. Ah, oh, there's a little glitch in the O right there. It's not too bad, but... See, I don't know what causes those mini glitches like that. Maybe it's just the draw distance stuff that I do, and it goes away so quickly. That sucks. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know what causes that to happen. You see those little glitch it, mini glitches it has. Besides that, it turned out pretty good, actually, so not too bad. But yeah, I don't know what causes those little glitches sometimes. I really don't. All right, let's see how this looks up here. Hopefully I didn't make it too big or too small. Look at that. I like that looks good. I'm just going to make some adjustments. I think to make this stand out good. Yeah, that looks so much better. Worth it. It took us some time, but it we got it. Look at that. <clears throat> ah, I wish that glitch wouldn't happen because it looks like it's two C's when it does that. Yeah, see that little mini glitch. I might try and see if I can fix that. Uh, I'll go back in and see if I'll, I, I might mess with a few things and might mess with a few things and see if I can fix that little glitch there. See, I don't know why it glitches like that sometimes. That's the only issue I seem to run into sometimes is that little glitch and it's like you gotta be so close for that. <clears throat> like, you only have to, when you go just a little far back, it disappears, which kinda sucks. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna double layer it, see if that does anything. I probably won't, because it'll probably do the same thing on the other layer, but for the shot. See, because the other O doesn't do that. <laughs> See, I'm not into I can't put my finger on why it does that. See how it just kind of just that one little spot. Um, but it might just be because I didn't do exactly the greatest when it came for the 
draw distance count because that could be a good reason. <clears throat> <clears throat> so maybe if I fix some of those uh, edges or do something with the edges on the other other pieces, you know, never know. But it works for now until uh, until I get that fixed. If I get that fixed, I'll just update the file. But it actually works pretty good, and it actually looks pretty solid with this entrance. <clears throat> you have to be super close for that C not to glitch out. You have to be like right here. So when you're right here, which is the most ideal view, it disappears. Only thing I could think of doing is put like a small, for now anyways, until I get, unless, until I get it fixed. I might try and find a very tiny art shape to put right there that's a similar color, so when it disappears, it's less noticeable. And there is a way to do some flexi color stuff, too and theme makers toolkit but I haven't gotten that far and don't know if I will or not but you know See if I put this behind it almost acts as a support almost if that makes sense so like if you go back here it's more like it's supporting so even if you do end up seeing it it's fine see that kind of covers it up a little bit so where it's not as noticeable. Not the greatest, but <laughs> it works for now. See, when you're far away, you don't really notice it. It's fine. Beautiful. I don't know what to do with these old signs. Back to the backstage area you go. He just hung it up on the back of that building. Because why not? <laughs> There's your little photo op spot. Get your little photo op spot, and then you got the entrance. I'm happy regardless. It wasn't flawless, but we got it in there, so. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, 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 ba -da -dum. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this look a little bit more decorative. And we are gonna actually add a whatever it is, what is it called? Vista point or whatnot. Whatever it's called. Where is it? Am I going crazy? I've gone crazy. Path extras, display, you know, special effects, nature, no. Props, misc. 
lot of misc due to the Maker's Toolkit. <coughs> misc, misc. But we can do a POV of the Woody in a little while, uh, minute. When does Joe not ignore chat right now? <laughs> uh, right now. Where on earth is the vista points? Are they not under scenery? There's no way it's under building. Oh, it's under shops and facilities. I'm dumb. I forgot. There we go. Entertainment point. What does entertainment points do again? I forgot. <laughs> Isn't that where entertainers, like, entertain? <laughs> or something. I, I can't, I seriously can't remember. I've never really used one, so. Because can it be like a, almost like a meeting? Like a uh, character meet and greets or something, kind of. Can always test it. Take pictures and stuff with the entertainers, because <laughs> that's what the the Vista views where they. Vista points where they take pictures and stuff. I'm just so happy to have Own custom signs. It's exciting. Need to make you a custom sign. How much? How much will you pay for it? <clears throat> if it has anything to do with Shrek, I'm gonna be charging an extra fee. saying if Shrek's involved I'm charging extra <laughs> hey EJ Hooks how's it going
How much will you charge for a simple sign with the uh, park's logo and the name? I mean, do you have the... As long as you have, like, the, the logo already made and stuff, I can make it no problem, probably. As long as it's nothing too complex, like, you know, something like this, or letters work fine as well, just, they just take a while. <laughs> All I can do is simple signs. I can't do anything too complex, so. But man, we've done, we haven't like done a whole lot in the park, but we've done a lot of custom work, like this billboard, which looks pretty awesome. We've done some Theme Maker's Toolkit items. I did work on this... <clears throat> on this uh, little sidewalk. Just a little bit. And our new front entrance sign, which looks pretty awesome. Oh yeah, uh, Kenny would want to ride the wood coaster real quick. Uh, I mean, how much, how much are we talking, Silas? I don't know what to charge, it's the thing. <laughs> Like what? Uh, what are you offering? I guess. What would need uh to happen for another twenty four hour stream? I don't know. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> if I do another one, I got to do it at the right time. I'm not doing it after work ever again. I'm doing it on a day off, after a long, nice sleep. <laughs> I was tired by time it started. <laughs> we I'll do five dollars, I guess. <laughs> man, this is coming up. This is coming true, man. <coughs> is it for Wendelverse or is it for something else? <coughs> Just out of curiosity. Yes. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna just trying to populate some places with some trees here. <coughs> Lots and lots of trees. All right, I'm, I think I might move our path covers. I don't really need, don't want them here, over here right now. I'm gonna move them, move them over here. Since we're heavily working on this area. Okay, here comes the strain. <coughs> Look at me. <coughs> With all the trees added, this added so much to this area. I need to do the custom audio for the train. Can't wait to do that. That's going to be good. I ain't even going to try. I said the same thing. I didn't want to try it either because I knew or I already tried it once and it, I just remember it being a headache. But um, I was patient this time and willing to learn and I figured it out a little bit. And after doing it a couple times, it's like not too bad at all, especially for simple signs. If you're doing like rectangular signs, that's like nothing. That's easy. <clears throat> if you're doing stuff with a little bit more shape, I mean, I took a little bit longer than it should have because I had to start over by accident because something happened. You know, everything disappeared, which is why you should always save <laughs> frequently always save your stuff saving is key <clears throat> I think blunders on Mac I'm pretty sure it is I know Blender's free, so. I don't want to put some heavy equipment here. Is this the one with the coaster track on it? I think it is, yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna have some like equipment here, I guess you could say. This is just gonna be another like kind of like where they lay everything down just randomly. It's just gonna have a lot of junk in it. For instance, like some pieces of wood or something like that.
actually. Let's get a pallet down. Get rid of the footers here. Ugh. A dumpster container. I didn't move the second I went to click. Dum ba da 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 da. We're just gonna have all sorts of junk. Just hanging out, cause why not? Just around, park should we just have a park bench in there? Maybe a bicycle? <laughs> Maybe. Creepy eye. I don't remember getting that. <clears throat> Time City logo. <sighs> the dumpster. But this is kind of like the spot, like if we were building a new ride, you'd probably have all the parts just sitting here. Something like that. Ah. <clears throat> uh. John Deere mower. That's a tasty pizza. Ah. 
craft corn. Western Saloon. Twister. Ba ba da dum ba ba da ba dum bum ba dum. A little bit high there. <laughs> oh. Lovely. What am I looking for? I forgot the name of it. Uh, is it under wall decorations, I think? It's bracket, that's what I was <clears throat> thinking. These are bigger than I had hoped, though. <clears throat> Good enough. Yeah, this is going to be like a little storage spot for storing like track or just stuff, random stuff.
<coughs> Excuse me. This is just gonna kind of go back here and flip around. We are not storing Shrek in here, no. be interesting. <clears throat> and I'm doing a certain thing in April. Can you sting Valley Park on April 24th? As a present. <laughs> I don't have this amount of patience. I really don't. Trust me. Try and get a little dirt on the road. The intensity is so low. How is that doing so much? <laughs> but this one's not doing like anything. I'm going to try and avoid seeing that edge. Do 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 do. tour of the park. I can do a quick small one. <coughs> Since the park's not too big. But we'll start on the highway, which is where we've been working on the most lately. Because um, we just built this not long ago. Uh, we got a little billboard uh, that tells you where to go. 
along with a nice little entrance sign and some intersections here to get into the park. Drive all the way down here. You get a nice little pond to your left, the awesome wood coaster on the right. And you hit your booths here for parking. Gonna park over here in the parking lot somewhere. <clears throat> There's our nice little grand entrance. I literally just made this sign on stream and the Theme Maker's Toolkit because I just now learned how to do Theme Maker's Toolkit, so that's fun. Then we have our little square entrance square area here. <clears throat> Got lots of different stuff going on here. Head directly to your left here. <clears throat> You'll see we have some churros, Coca-Cola, and we have a nice little plaza here for the Mississippi Corkscrew, which is an aerodynamics corkscrew model. Nice little queue line here and station. We got the, uh, got it going over the path here. There's also these stairs that lead over the, the train tracks. And that's the train depot I'm building. And you'll queue, that's the queue for it right in here. Probably gonna do a little more in there, but <clears throat> here's the train station lined up with the square. Excuse me, sir. You also exit right there. If we head back over here, we have a wild mouse, wooden wild mouse coaster called Maniac Mouse. This probably won't be here very long in the storyline, so. It's just kind of a filler coaster. We do have some nice terrain walls going up here, and if you head up here, we have a nice little restaurant building that, if you go up here, has seating up here, and it's a... Uh, just ribbon and coffee, Street Fox coffee, and the steam train also goes through here. If you head down here, we have a nice little water area, we have restrooms going down the hill here. Steam train's gonna go over a bridge right there, right above you. We have a few flat rides over here. Got that guy. Sort of a little food court here. We got Gulpy Slush and Sugar Emporium, another Just Ribbon. We have two Just Ribbons, and then we have a pizza place. I have a pizza pen right here. Just inside there, you can see the steam train there. We have another flat ride with the Mississippi Scrambler. <coughs> Turned out pretty nice. We have a nice little bridge going across here. You can get a nice view of that cook wood coaster. If we head down there, set in the 1870s, wow, very old. And over here we have Mississippi Tea Party, and then we have a awesome Ferris wheel and a carousel right next to that. And that path leads you back over where we just were with the corkscrew. Steam train just went through. We do have a working railroad crossing here. And this leads you to the area of the wood coaster, which still does not have a name. Uh, there's the queue for the wood coaster. There's the station for the wooden coaster. Still need to do a better booth for that. Based off of Six Lives Over Georgia, not entirely. Like, a lot of the buildings were inspired by it. That makes sense. 
<clears throat> there were a considerable amount of buildings on the square and some of the other buildings that were taken from that were inspired by over Georgia but like the square and everything was a little bit inspired by it Mississippi hurricane Got some restrooms. This is the restrooms by the entrance. Oh, we also have backstage areas as well. So if you head back here, here's a backstage area behind the buildings and this little quick service restaurant. <clears throat> Lots of different uh, backstage items back here. Also a little service road back here that leads through the corkscrew and leads back this way. There's a little service road that leads you back to the roundhouse of the steam train, which also looks really cool. It's the roundhouse right here. Looking quite nice. But the service road also leads to a nice little garage door if they need to get big parts in or something like that. That's where they do it. And then we have our MNC area, which is basically backstage mania back here. So we have a lot of equipment and storage and this is the auto shop, according to that sign. Lots of backstage stuff, containers, a couple cars, there's the wood shop. <clears throat> and then these are the offices, MNC office. And just some more storage over here too. And back here is the employee parking lot right there. I want to do a lot more back here. This is what I am still want to work on is do something more back here. It's just a big fence and a little bit of a service road. <clears throat> Which leads to the backstage areas of these buildings here. And this will also lead back over here with the service road that leads back behind <clears throat> the wood coaster here too which leads back here which is another service area backstage and everything so pretty awesome it looks pretty awesome with the new with the new uh uh sign here the sign that we made in theme maker for theme makers toolkit made my own custom sign finally this one's also custom, which was my first successful custom sign. <clears throat> so yeah. We got a lot of work still to do, especially on the roads over here. My PC is making a loud noise right now really loud. <coughs> but love the billboard too. I think it turned out pretty cool too. I heard you can turn into it. Uh, absolutely not.
But yeah, so Gold Rock Park is rocking here. Rocking on in. <clears throat> Still got some road work to do. Uh, highway work over there. But besides that, we're in pretty darn good shape right now. And getting this done very soon, so... But, whew. Oh, I think I'm going to end it here, though, guys. We've done a lot of streaming today. I'm going to rest up after all that because that was a lot of uh, 3D modeling that uh, really well. And I, th I think it did well and turned out pretty good. I'm glad that uh, even though I had a minor glitch in there, that it actually turned out pretty good still, so. <clears throat> so anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. Uh, we'll probably be back tomorrow, because um, I have nothing better to do right now, so. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and make sure you comment, like, subscribe, make sure you check out our sponsor, Dubby. Um, don't forget Dubby. Uh, use my code JLW Games to get a nice discount on your purchase. So, um, nice energy drink. And uh, yeah, so make sure you guys have a great day and even cooler tomorrow, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next live stream or video, whichever it may be. Thanks so much for watching. And goodbye. Bye bye. Bye.